Welcome back to Superstar KO. Last episode, it was a good one. Came right down to the wire. You, know, you, you guys can go check it out if you want to see the ending. But who are we going to take this time? I kind of want to go Russell Wilson, but I'm going to go with Keenan Allen. Trying to stay away from this, you know, the usual suspects that I take when I like to run around with the quarterbacks. Try to avoid that at all costs. Let's get ourselves a good old Aaron Rodgers. Can't be intercepted by AI defenders. And then pick another offensive player. Don't mind if I do Mike Evans. So we have two ultra rare wide receivers. I just realized I picked three offensive players. Last video, I started off with three defensive players. Who does he have on defense? Nobody. So he also has three offensive players. We're tossing it up there. That is right to the other team. All right. Not exactly the way I wanted to start this. He is a level 30 or 36, 26. It's a little bit past my skill range, I would have to imagine. Somebody commented on my video today. I was like, I got mad, not today, like the other day. Commenting, I just got mad in last week, and I'm already so much better than you at Superstar KO. I'm like, all right, proud of you. I wasn't trying to be the best Madden Superstar KO player of all time. Like, who, who would strive to be that? I don't get it. I, I didn't even look at who he has on his team, by the way. Is he going to get a delay of game? I mean, he is going to get a delay of game. You're not going to get this. Please, Jerry Rice on his team. He's level 26, intercepts me on my first play, and then gets a delay of game. What, does he want to, like, rub it in? I don't really understand. Who else does he have? Russell Wilson, DeAndre Hopkins. I would like Jerry Rice on my team, too, but I guess that's just not in the cards. Where do you think you're going with Doug Martin? So what is that going to be, a second and 22? 20, uh, second and 20. I don't know how that's only a five-yard loss. Also, don't know why you're running it on your first play. You're level 26. Maybe he likes to establish the run. He's one of those kind of people that think that's actually matters for play action. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. All play action's going to work, whether you're running the ball well or not. He takes so long to do every single thing. Oh, yeah. Here we go. What? <laughs> yeah. Right. There is absolutely no way that just happened. A one-handed catch down the sideline while he's running to his left. There's just so much wrong with that play, and it just it shouldn't have went that way. But of course, it's going to for no reason whatsoever. And you really hate to see it. So we have a first and 10 on the 26-yard line. I, I, I can't say I hate it because I'm the same kind of player, but it really is aggravating. And I guess that's why I like doing it, too, because I have a little bit of troll inside of me. But I don't know. Hopefully we can turn this around. I really hate that this guy takes so long to pick plays. I understand he's going to beat me relatively easily, but pick a quick play. If you're going to beat me quick, let me go pick another team. Move on. Go lose to somebody else. Like, come on. And he eats up the whole play clock. We go in. We go in. Where is he going? That's sh that's so intentional grounding. It's kind of unbelievable. There was no way that got past the first down or the the line of scrimmage rather. I like to keep like one flowing conversations for the superstar KO videos, but this guy's making it impossible. I've never seen somebody play like this. Yes, yes, Amos. <laughs> that is what you get. Let's move on to the second round. Let's take a defensive player. That's what you get, buddy. Victory. What do we have here? Nothing really. I'm going to go with Harrison Smith. So from what I understand, yep, he has Michael Strahan and John Randall. Interesting. I don't know what play I just picked, by the way. I hate to run, but I'm going to do it on the first play. Let's just step out of bounds. I picked a play by accident. I picked the stick play. What an ugly, ugly play. Why would anybody want to run that? I don't know. That's really not for me. Let's just go nice and easy. And of course, I don't know who you are, number 80, but you're going to drop the ball in a second and three. 
We're playing somebody called Wet Like Water. Okay, I get... Oh, Jarvis Landry dropped that, by the way. A little surprising, I would say. Sidearming it in there to good old Jarvis Landry making up for last time. Um, Let's go with the dagger. Send out the dagger. Let's end him. We have a first and ten. I'm going to fling it right on in there to Jarvis Landry again. Not going to be able to get by the two defenders for a touchdown, though. I was hoping. Was hoping a miracle could happen. We'd score a touchdown on that play, go to defense, intercept it. Take Michael Stray in. You know, call it a day. Is that so much to ask for? That is literally not what I told you to do. Aaron Rodgers, the supposed most, like, the, the best quarterback of all time skill-wise. Just threw it into the stands, basically. Might as well have. It's just, it's just ugly, you know? Yeah, that's going to get us in a third and seven, I would assume. Third and eight, even worse. I want to do that Daga play again. Seems to be working perfectly fine. So why not double, triple, quadruple down on it? Oh, we got through the line. That's right to join her. I didn't really have a choice. I guess I could have took the sack. I don't know. I didn't think he was going to walk right in front of it and intercept it. Uh, let's see what we can do on offer on defense against his offense against wet like water. Who does he have again? Oh, yeah, DJ Kali. And Le'Veon Bell. And, uh, just Le'Veon Bell. No big deal. You have to intercept that back. Don't let Hooper just walk right across the line. Get a first down. It just shouldn't be happening. Oh, come on. I think DJ Kali can't be intercepted by computers, correct? Really? I thought I was going to switch to a different player, then I switched to my corner. Swing and a miss. It's, it's just so, so aggravating. Don't be afraid to pass it. Oh, we got some hard routes. Those could be fakes, though. Oh, there is nobody by Le'Veon Bell. For some reason, I think that might... Oh, it's not Hopkins. That wouldn't be Hopkins. For some reason... Oh, it's probably Tyree Kill then, right? Number 10? Is Tyree Kill number 10? I guess I can just figure it out. Um, I think that's him on the left side right there. You... Oh, man. It's so aggravating when you switch to the wrong player, when you have a nice, easy interception. It was right there. I might have even returned it for a touchdown. That's how easy it would have been. Where are you going? He's just like running back and forth all these different directions, and I don't really understand it. Second and 13 on the 34-yard line. You know what I did notice this time around? We don't have Khalil Mack kind of just walking right through the offensive line getting sack after sack after sack. I mean, maybe, maybe there's something to that. That was a weird play call, by the way. I just kind of like ignored it, but I don't know. Why is nobody covering? I guess it's John Brown. That's why nobody's covering him. But somebody, anybody, cover that man. Don't make it just nice and easy for him to walk downfield. I don't know what they're chanting. I am, I literally can't tell what that is. It's not Bell. They're not chanting John Brown. They're not chanting DJ Khaled. So no, I, I'm at a loss. Yeah, and I'm, I, I'm kind of, you know, I can play some defense once in a while. I'm just saying, we have a third and 13. We desperately need to force a turnover. Then again, they can't get a first down. Now that I look at it, they have to get to the inches. I mean, if they get to the inches, the game's over. So I might as well just pack it up and go home anyways. He's doing all his little hot routes for whatever reason. You're not any good wet like water. I know you're going to beat me. Intercepted! Come on! That was our one chance. Oh, because it's AI and I didn't switch to the guys. That makes sense now. Fourth and 13. I feel like we're going to go to a tug of war right here. He's calling all his hot routes, of course. Yes, okay. Good, 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 good. Let's get to that tug of war. Maybe we can continue on to game three. 
I really want Michael Stray out on my team, too. I need a pass rusher. I don't know who's our pass rusher at the moment, but they ain't doing anything. Uh, I don't know what to do with this play. Maybe just go try to get to Ty Montgomery out of the backfield. Let's just slip that right on in there down at the 40-yard line. Well, maybe like the 38, 39-yard line. I'll take it. That's a good gain on first down if you're not looking for like a big chunk play. What are we going to do here? Yeah, that, that's obviously not going to work. Intercepted it. Right? It might have went out of bounds. I mean, it really doesn't matter. But that is perfect. It's, like, it's exactly what we needed. So now the goal line is up to the 10-yard line. We could potentially make something happen here if we play our cards right. I want to see what Evans really does on the left side of the field. Oh, no. Who I tried to throw it out of bounds. I didn't do it in time. I just gave him 15 yards for nothing. That's, ah, uh, man. Yeah, that's good. And it's Tyree Kill like I thought. That's a nice play right there. Uh, let's go with the dagger play. We need some sort of big chunk play downfield. Maybe Keenan Allen, maybe Mike Evans downfield. Landry, if we can get him open across the middle of the field. And, of course, we do not really have any time. Oh! <laughs> that could have been it. That could have been a nice little one-handed catch. I mean, this game's all but over. He needs, what, 15 yards? Yep, that's the game. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.